Let me show you how to build this modern interactive image gallery with custom animations and no code or special tools. Let's do it. First, I've built a nav bar and a small call to action at the bottom here. I'm gonna start by importing our images for this effect. And for the best results, make sure that all of your images are in fact the same size. Grab one, then hit add to page, and then I'm just gonna resize it slightly so that we can actually fit all of them on screen and then just go ahead and round off those corners. Before adding any more images, let's go ahead and make a few changes so that we can avoid some repetitive work later. First, let's skew the image by seven degrees on the X axis and 10 degrees on the Y axis. Then hop into the animations and effects tab and first add a hover effect, which will make the card pop up. I'll select the preset of move and then just make some small adjustments to the distance and then leave pretty much everything else exactly the same. Great, now we can actually add in some of our other images. First duplicate the existing card and then hit change image and swap out. This way, if I preview, you can see the animations are copied and we don't need to set that whole thing up again. Repeat that for as as many cards as you need. In our case, just five cards. Then if I grab one, we'll see this small blue button pop up to stack them all together. Finally, I'll set the item spacing to be negative 120 pixels so that they do overlap. And then I'm just gonna center the whole thing. With that stack in place, I can start building out our second animation. Selecting the stack, pop into the animations tab again. And this time I'm gonna add a click effect. This stack will be our trigger, but we'll actually be animating the five cards within it. So let's select choose on canvas and then grab our center card. Create a new custom animation because we can't actually access the skew settings with presets and then just set our skew to zero and zero. That's really good, but the other cards are a little different since I need to translate those cards too. It starts the same. Select the stack and add another click animation and I'll select the card left of center. I'll reset the tilt and then set the X translate to negative 150 to move the 120 pixels plus a little spacing in the middle. Then it's really just a matter of repeating this on the right side, except set the X translate to 150 pixels. For the outer cards, same thing again, but set them to negative 300 pixels and 300 pixels on the right. And putting it all together, we end up with something that looks like this, a fluid hover and click custom animation for a gallery of images. If you want to see more videos like these, check out another tutorial.